Hello gentlemen, welcome back to the lab and today we are working on something special. Oh, look at the size of this transform. This is absolutely incredible. And this will be my next power supply. Stay around and you'll see what's going on. So you ask, why do we need another uh, power supply? Uh, well, I need it because of my next project and uh, I really can't tell you what it is yet because this is kind of the first step uh, we have to do to get things right. But uh, a little hint is uh, that, uh, you know, we're going to be working on something like this. So if you know what this is, uh, you already guessed it. But if you don't, I'm not going to tell you uh, because this should be a surprise. Uh, so pretty much what we're doing is uh, uh, this is a transformer from a pretty small uh, arc welder. So uh, it, it says it, it's capable of, of outputting uh, 75 amps. I really doubt um, you know, a short circuit current. I was able to measure uh, 150 with my uh, uh, clamp on meter. So, you know, it's all right. Uh, this is a really, you know, piece of crap transformer, to be honest. You know, it has a primary and secondary. So really not that good but I managed uh, to put some nylon on 90C uh, uh, wire here this is 10 gauge so should be able to do 40 amps uh, no problem and uh, yeah you know it, it's all right so uh, we have that uh, so now instead of 40 volts I'm getting uh, 50 uh, something volts AC. Now that should be somewhere uh, in the neighborhood of 60, you know, 60, 65 volts DC after we rectify it. And uh, the plan is to have, you know, all the proper protection, obviously, you know, uh, 19 amp circuit breaker, uh, you know, made in JA pan, uh, Nico electric, whatever. Um, you know that should be all right so I'm still trying to figure out the all of the things how to make it work but uh, essentially uh, what we are after is uh, making sure uh, we're safe on the input side and we're safe on the output side uh, I'm not really sure how to do the over current protection yet because this is a pretty high power uh, power supply, but I think a circuit breaker should be just fine. Uh, <clears throat> it would be a wise idea to have like a 10 amp breaker or whatever. <clears throat> so if you overpower something, it's gonna trip right away instead of like doing it. Right. So <clears throat> I might uh, actually uh, do that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, it should be able to pull 20 amps from the wall and uh, I put many amps on the output. So that is pretty cool. So, so far what we have is uh, I removed the shunts here. So that's the only current limit that we had on this transformer. So now it's gone so we can pull whatever we want from it. That's a good thing. Uh, second thing is uh, that uh, a couple more parts are coming so this won't be like a video you you usually see where I kind of do something and then it's done uh, this is only like a starting point like I have no case and uh, you know I, I got some rectifying diode but I don't know if it's going to be able to handle the amps so now we kind of have to uh, see where we go uh, with this, but uh, essentially saying uh, we need 
powerful diodes and we need a really large capacity and uh, we will have some uh, other filtering as well and some current um, sensing here so this will act as a resistor so we could measure the voltage drop and uh, I will be doing a detailed uh, video probably how to make a precision high current um, high current um, amp meter because this is a really cool topic so for precision current measuring for high currents like this all you need is a shunt a resistor it can be pretty much anything with a uh, relatively low uh, resistance this can actually be too small believe it or not so uh, we kind of have to see but uh, pretty much you pass a constant current through it you measure the resistance at a tap or a point you get the resistance you want uh, so you can uh, connect the voltmeter with the amp amplifier so you set a known gain and then blah 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 so pretty much it will work the same way as my uh, small current meter except with a bigger shunt uh, that's really all there's to it um, yeah it's pretty simple so uh, yeah we will be having a whole bunch of different things going on and uh, uh, this will be a really cool uh, power supply so I'm um, I'm really kind of starting here I don't really have a any plan yet so stay tuned I really hope this uh, turns out to be a good project because I do need a high power uh, power supply like this um, you know because I can't really plug things into the wall yet I'm not there yet so uh, it's gonna be uh, the next step but uh, uh, after this power supply is built I'm, I'm expecting about 60 uh, to 65 volts on the output and uh, that should be just perfect for like, any ZBS driver or you know, whatever and uh, I am planning to build other things uh, you know, induction heater for example so the higher the voltage the lower the current uh, that you have to pass through the MOSFET so that's uh, gonna be a benefit later on but uh, yeah I, I really hope this turns out to be a good project and uh, I do have a vision of having you know kind of one power supply that's uh, capable of doing all you want on the high current high voltage well high current uh, low low well, medium voltage, let's say that, like 60 volts or whatever, you got it. You want like 5 volts, 20 amps, you got it. You want 5 volts, whatever, you got it. So, uh, you know, that would be really cool. Now, another part is coming, and uh, that will be absolutely uh, insane, uh, because I, I will be building... A, uh, I bought some boost converters, uh, long story short, uh, and, and each is like 1200 watts. Uh, I got two, well, I will have two of them once they come in the mail. I will do a review once I have them, but essentially it should give me an ability to go like up, to, uh, up to like 80 volts or whatever. So I think uh, we actually might uh, do that. But I'm not like really sure because we still need like a high power uh, power supply and uh, if we input you know like 60 volts whatever we can even boost it up to 80. Now 80 volts is cool. Don't get me wrong. So yeah, uh, that is that. And uh, what else do I want to say? Uh, we also have uh, three uh, LCD digital. Um, power meter is coming in so uh, they will be able to measure current and voltage and power and milliamp hours or amp hours or whatever as well as kilowatts I believe 
so uh, that should be pretty cool uh, that will be capable of measuring like up to 60 volts or whatever so we might actually have to take some taps off this thing uh, I don't know yet that will come in the future that's not important right now what's important is you know get the basic idea of working and then we can start working on the enclosure and whatever so that's about it for this video if you like the video don't forget to leave a like also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you know when a new video comes out and don't forget to stay tuned because guess what more videos will be coming out soon and uh, I'm really hoping for your support in the comment section as well as any of my other videos thank you for watching and see you next time